All right, so I made a comment that I thought this was maybe the worst offensive game that the Chiefs have played since Patrick Mahomes took over as the quarterback. And so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So these are, I think, the first 13 passes in this game for the Chiefs, not counting screen passes where they threw screen passes. So I'm going to take you through what, I'm, what I was talking about, what I was seeing from them. And I gave credit to... The Raiders, because the Raiders deserved credit, okay? And so here we go. We've got the deep curl up top. We've got a post down here. We've got flat routes here, and then we've got an in um, in the middle. And so when you come back and you're Patrick Mahomes, and you say to yourself, okay, what am I doing here? Okay, they drop in here to take away his primary read right here. I'm not throwing the post back here because I'm double teamed. Take away both flats. Now, the only shot I have is this runaway in route that we have right here. Um, and I get it. You, you, you just got, and a lot of people can look and go, well, well, throw it to that guy then. Well, I get it. Throw it to that guy. But you're not expecting that guy necessarily to be your first read in a situation like this because you feel like they're playing more of a zone than they're playing a man coverage. But regardless, that's the one guy that maybe is open right it's still pretty good coverage right there but perfect coverage right here on the back end and that's where you have to give the Raiders credit and it ultimately leads to that sack fumble all right second pass okay little sprint out here play that we call 73 right here we've got it throw Maybe a touch high, but we're trying to go up with one hand. Travis Kelsey, our main guy, and he drops the football. Okay, there's play number two. Guy open. Missed the opportunity. Okay, play number three. Okay, so right here. Okay, what are we running? We're running a play that I call knife. Okay, so it's a in route with two unders. Uh, coming from the outside of it. So the idea on this play is we want to read this Mike linebacker here. Does he get depth? If he gets depth, I want to hit my first under. If he comes down, I want to hit the in back behind it. Okay, so we'll run this back and you see it. Okay, he lets it go right there. So what I really want to hit is I want to hit this area right here on the end. The problem is timing and spacing here. You're going to notice that Travis Kelsey gets in here so fast that he's right underneath this in route. And so if you're Patrick Mahomes, right, there's the throw. The, the throw is going to go right here. But they're all on top of each other stacked where we need to have better spacing with these two guys. So I'd like to see a little bit more patience right here to be able to get this guy in between the hashes before you get to the hash and that's where we can really stretch the play now patrick is, is already moving and getting a little impatient because he feels the pressure instead of just stepping up right there and then maybe waiting for this guy to get a tick further and there's our throw but spacing timing pressure and now we're running out of the pocket trying to create Okay, so we've got post, wheel, or shoot. We're gonna have a stick route right here with the flat coming out here, okay? So I'm not sure how they read this and what's the first read here, but just watching Patrick right here, what I notice is he's looking right here at this. He's ready to throw it right there, throw it. Throw the ball, get it out. There's your completion, there's your throw, okay? But he's already, he looked like it, and then he's already off of it, okay? But, okay, you don't like that, okay? Here comes your shoot. Now, again, pressure, not trusting the guys up front, but you don't like that. There's your shoot right there. Instead, we're pulling it down, missing an opportunity. Boom, now we're getting sacked when the first throw was right there in front of us, and for some reason, he chose not to pull the trigger. Okay, so we got another four strong situation here. So one, two, three, four guys over to this side. 
Okay, trying to get the solo right here. So normally looking at that as Patrick does, he's looking at it right there. Okay, he doesn't like it, no problem. So normally you read this all the way back across the field. So you go one and then you come here two. And then if you have a chance, you can go three, four, but it may just be that we go one, two, and then just kick it out here, three. So there's a shot right there at Kelsey. Okay, we don't like it, that's okay, no problem. Let's just kick it back out to the other side. I can live with that. But here's what happens, right? We kick it out there and then look, man, guys are rallying all over the place. Again, credit to the Raiders. Man, we get a loss on that play, even though it may have been the correct read or I'm fine with that read, but this is what's going on in this game. Is credit to the Raiders and then the Chiefs on the other side not playing great football, okay? So here's another one where you're gonna end up getting a penalty here, but we're gonna run curl, curl, flat, check, flat, and then we've got this middle right here, okay? So Patrick, again, kind of similar to that first play that we saw, okay, Patrick, Patrick's going to the middle. Good call, right? Because we got two on one here, two on one here, match, match so he's going back to that middle throw that we saw in the first play um, where he didn't have anything now patrick's throwing for him to sit and travis kelsey is running through this okay so why do i say that because i believe travis should be sitting here, which is what Patrick's expecting of him. So that's why the ball goes way inside of him. Why do I say that? Because we have curl and we have curl, okay? Very seldom do you have a guy run through a zone and come running out the backside here when you've got a curl that's going to be there on the 40 yard line because now we're just covering it up. So I believe he was supposed to just push and hook right here. Instead, he keeps going now we've got an incompletion on a third and long situation because of that miscommunication. Now, I know they have some freedom, those two guys to kind of see and try to get on the same page, but again, this is what we're seeing in this game. Lots of different issues here, okay? So then, let's let the O-line take their shot. Push down here, boom, we're open. We're gonna have a great chunk throw right here, but before Patrick even has a chance to set up, I think that's Big Max chasing him, another throwaway. Okay, so again, these are in succession. These are each and every play that they had. The first 13 pass plays in the game, and you see, not a single thing really has gone in their favor yet. Okay, so we're gonna run a double post up at the top. So here, post, post, okay? Couple things that we want to look at as a quarterback when we've got double post, okay? So the first thing is they're gonna drop the safety down to the weak side, but they're gonna drop him down high. Why is that important? If he drops down high, it's important that I see him because if he's in a high position back here, then he's got a great opportunity to take away this inside or influence post, okay? So that's the first thing I have to see. Second thing, is the free safety. Free safety getting a whole bunch of depth right off the snap, okay? So when he gets a whole bunch of depth right off the snap, which is really the first thing I'm gonna read, free safety, okay? He gets depth. That means I'm probably off of this particular deep post here. So he gets depth, now I'm gonna find this guy. If this guy continues to come down, I'm gonna think inside post. If that guy falls off, I wanna get right out here to my comeback right now, okay? So I just want you to watch, okay? Deep safety gets deep. No chance to beat him on a post right here, okay? So eyes are right here. Nope, no chance. He gets depth. Get to your comeback right now. Now Patrick gets there eventually, but I wanna see it happen a little bit faster because of all the issues around him. Now he gets there and he makes a good throw, but you notice how his receiver's just sitting there waiting for the ball, waiting for the ball. A little bit late, but we ultimately get the completion. We find the right guy, and we got something positive happening.
Okay, so now we're just running a semi. Okay, got him. Just misses a throw, right? There's just no, nothing else to say. Come back. Now Patrick's taking his turn. Like, it's across the board. Covered. Play design isn't great. Okay, now Patrick misses. Now Travis misses. Offensive line takes their turn. All right, now we got one. Okay, not really sure exactly. These two guys end up kind of in the same place, but regardless, we get man-to-man -man coverage. Good read by Patrick. We got a positive play right here. Boom. Go get that chunk play. Nice read. Nice throw. First down. We're moving. Okay, a little play action. Now again, not, not really sure the play design. We're gonna do this. So a deep cross. So that's a, a play that you know we'll run sometimes and try to get man-to-man -man coverage. But normally we don't put a corner route underneath it because now it, it junks everything up like to this side. Like, I, I don't know what we're trying to get. Uh, again, maybe one side's against zone. Maybe the high-low with the corners against zone and the cross is against man. But here's the throw right there that we should be making. We should be having this high-low over here to this side. You see the defender running deep to cover Travis. Back is a little late coming out, but that's where the ball should be going right there. Instead, we got to try to make a play, and Patrick does with his legs as he was running most of the day, but there's a throw right there in front of him. Because again, double cross should be off the double cross. These two guys should be off as soon as we get zone coverage because you see it. One guy waiting here, another guy waiting there, don't have anything. Now it should become high low right there to my corner flat. Okay, like the play design right here. Okay, so we're just gonna run on a third and short here, quick to the flat. Nice job here creating the rub. Just trying to get this quick flat out. I like it. Boom, right there. We got it. Now, the crazy thing is, even with all this, right, it looks like it's going to be easy first down. I like the play design. But even with this, look, catch, boom. Gets hit. Barely gets anything afterwards. Credit to the Raiders. Even though a good play design, we get it to work. We get our first down. But, man, nothing was easy in this game for the Chiefs. Okay, and then we're going to finish with the interception here. Okay, so it's great teaching. So something that they love to do. So we're going to run what we call Sprint 71. Okay, or you might call it Horn, a hitch, and a corner. Okay, so it's a hitch and a corner. So we're coming out and we're trying to hit the hitch right now. Trying to bang that on him as Patrick's trying to do here. And really, we, we have to read two things right here. Okay, so the first thing... Uh, we have to see is this outside linebacker, okay? So if that outside linebacker is buzzing hard, we've got to beat him with our hitch. If we get him to hold inside, then our eyes need to go to this corner so we can high low the corner. But this isn't easy to, to read this, okay? So we come out here and we get the hold inside. And so I see what Patrick sees. He sees this corner open and turn to that side. So he's trying to hit his hitch right now. Now, first thing I'll ask is, is the outside guy too deep? Okay, because normally what you want to do is we run this at five yards and then we run the corner up over the top of him. So is he too deep? Because the deeper he goes, the longer this read plays out and the more the corner can be involved in both of them. So is he too deep? Because you see the ball right here, we'll say, it's on the 25 yard line and he's getting all the way to the 28, 29. Should he be right here? Should the ball be coming out right now and now we beat the corner or the corner shows us what he wants to do sooner and that gives me the corner route over the top. So that's the first part. I don't know, maybe they run this a little deeper than normal. I've seen him running a bunch. Looked like Patrick was expecting him to be a little bit quicker, okay? The other aspect of it, okay, is what I hate when guys run hitches is I hate when they widen, when they widen on the hitch, okay? Because when they widen, what it does 
is it leaves a lane for this corner because the corner's not going to widen all the way to the sideline. Leaves a, a, a leverage for this corner. So you'll see, watch him widen. Watch him, look how wide he gets. So what he does is he opens the door for this guy to break underneath and create this. So if this guy runs here, straight up the field and runs his hitch, this corner is outside of him. Corner has outside leverage here. So then he's not going to pick this football off because he's gonna to have to go through the man to get the football. But because we widen, and I think because we got a little bit too much depth, we open the gate here for this guy to be able to drive and intercept it. Because you see on the throw, you see what the corner has to do. He's got to come and it still takes him time to have to go outside to get in position to take this ball away. Whereas if our receiver is here, he's got to run through our guy to get the football. I don't believe it's a pick six. So again, there's a lot of factors. I don't know exactly which of these factors played out because it's one, two, three. Look how quick Patrick throws it. I think he's expecting him to turn sooner. They do outside release and widen this play. I don't like it because it does open the gate for the corner, but regardless, I think there's a lot of things going wrong here across the board, which ultimately leads to a pick six, but you see it. First 13 pass plays, very few did the Chiefs execute well.